So this is another one of my slides. And honestly, I actually have a slide show of 24 slides, but I don't have all that with me because law enforcement stole all my thumb drives, 24 of them, along with my property bags when I was placed in jail because of the cybercrime identity theft and fraud on my life caused by original sibling family members and community members who try to harm my life because of my ability to use my mind, which is kind of like Tesla and Thomas Edison and other people. Marvelous, like that. That's the way it goes, I guess, if you've got a brain from God. What we're talking about today is homeless travel packs, and I encourage people as they go into the winter holidays to stop going to the dollar store and buying up hundreds of dollars of crap. Cotton kills in winter time. It does not keep you warm at all. I'd rather have bare feet in freezing cold temperatures than a pair of cotton socks. If you're trying to help homeless people, help them one at a time. Don't make them a project, but visit them on a regular basis and say, I'm not here to harm you. I want to help you. What do you need today? And go off and get it. It's not hard. And over the course of time, you'll build trust, but that trust can never be abused by you because you can be sued by them. I encourage people to offer a tartan wool lap blanket for a person as opposed to a sleeping bag. Most sleeping bags are not warm enough, and I'm pretty sure that Target and Walmart started making their sleeping bag manufacturers put the ratings on them based on the origination of my program, which had a website and did a lot of different things. And I had really great uh, support from some companies as I was flaunching and fledgling, but unfortunately, siblings wouldn't have loaned me $100 to keep things going. I also encourage people to give people a freezing weather insulated mat, and that's usually a plush mat that's about this thick, because we need to put that down on grass or that down on concrete to make sure that the concrete doesn't absorb the moisture of our bodies. We need freezing weather socks and gloves. You can usually buy those at Walmart in their hunting section. They're a mix of wool and cotton. They keep your feet marvelously warmer than anything else, and they're about seven to twelve dollars depending on where you buy them. Dollar Tree has just brought in a couple that are not bad but they won't be great in freezing cold weather. They're good for fall. We have collapsible portable stools. I encourage that. You get a three-legged stool from a hunting shop. Make sure it can handle a good 200 to 300 pounds and openly it should be high enough that a person doesn't kill themselves to get in and out of it. Make sure it's tall enough but it's collapsible down to something easy that someone can put in a sling and carry and makes it really marvelously easy. Or a lot of the camping and summer uh, chairs are available to collapse, and they're not always hard to carry, but they have to be strong enough to hold the person over time. Mine, unfortunately, has been abused by people who want to ruin my life. They've ruined it already. They've ripped my bags, and I'd like to show you that. I'm wondering who's vandalizing my right to carry a chair. They ripped the shit out of the bottom and so it falls out. <clears throat> A weatherproof business bag or backpack is really helpful. Most knapsacks that you buy at the store do not automatically say they're weatherproof, and even the marvelous ones I have from Under Armour aren't fully weatherproof. So they're going to need some quality weatherproof backpacks, and those are about 50 bucks at a camping store. I know that because I've priced it. I've window shopped it. We also need durable straps for bags because those are things that harassers like to take from us and steal from us, preferably with plastic clips. Even though they break, they're replaceable. And then metal and very good sound controls on them. And most people prefer a backpack, honestly. It's easier. Or one that's a reporter's satchel that can go up and over and be on their back or in their front to get into. Um, a headlight built in a warm hat is great. I actually used to have one of those. I'm not sure where it's at now. I'm pretty sure it got stolen by police. I actually bought one at a camping store and it actually was a warm hat and inside it was a headlight that I could press and press and turn off and I think it cost me five or seven dollars. Really marvelous. Great deal. A can opener that's great. I've had three of them broken and I'm pretty sure that the employees at the Dollar Tree like to break their can openers but I've also had several stolen so I think I've had about now six stolen and broken. Some combination of that. A Swiss army knife with scissors, very small scissors, is great because every once in a while we have to cut off a tag of something and we can't just rip it off because it'll rip the clothing. A mag light with a bright lumen is great and those you can buy at a Dollar Tree if you're really careful in what you select. You have marvelous ones that hook on. They do sort of fall apart after time but it's a great deal. It's a great value. A lighter is essential to a person who's homeless, not because they're smoking all the time, because they might like to 
light a candle or I might like to build a fire if they go to a campground of some kind. A multi-tube, those things are essential, little bit of pliers and whatnot. Plastic bottle for producing beverages is and isn't a great idea. Uh, they're hard to keep clean. On the other hand, they're convenient. <clears throat> it's better to give people bottles of water because unfortunately for whatever technological and scientific reason, we don't really get water in cans anymore. A stainless steel camping silverware set is really great and openly a 4x6 leather bound journal. And the reason I say 4x6 or it's just slightly larger, you can buy them right at this time while Staples still exists. At the Staples store is marvelous or a good one you can sometimes find at Walmart. But anything cheaper than that, they usually don't last. The reason I say that is because most of us prefer to wear cargo pants so that we can put things in our pants pockets, despite the fact that ugly people, evil people, and un healthy and ill-willed and immoral and illegal people will put their hands in our pockets, but it allows us to take notes in meetings, it allows us to write down numbers of people, and openly mine's been interfered with marvelous many times by the hacker and stalker Jamie and other aspects of his maintenance friends, so that's not great for me, but it's good for other people, and you can buy them in plain colors like a leather brown uh, that's light colored that goes both ways for men and women, or a black. Uh, would be my recommendation or a burgundy and then let the person choose the color I'm definitely one of those who wants black a durable pen and pencil set is always nice and uh, travel toothbrush and toothpaste is really not hard for us to find everybody tries to play us with that shit and we don't need it wipes would be better but wipes are also a problem because they can be tainted and I've had that happen when I had a vehicle and I'm pretty sure police did that the lies that they told themselves about abuse of a human being's bottom and genitalia in wipes if you know what I mean